Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Charnel House Trilogy. This game was just recently released onto Steam. It is a pixel art uh, point and click adventure game. This is the trilogy of the Sepulcher, I guess, series by Owl Cave Games. Uh, Sepulcher itself, or Sepulcher, I might be pronouncing that wrong, but. You know, it's the middle book. Right there. It was released originally a few years ago as a free game. You can, I believe, still download it. But what they've done with this is they've added in two other, I guess, sections. You've got Inhale and Exhale, which would be the prequel and the postquel. They've also made it fully voice acted. Uh, Sepulcher, I do not believe, was voice acted. I never played it. Uh, I only recently learned about it around the same time, actually, that I learned about the Charnel House coming out. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to bother with that because, you know, it's all going to be in here. So it's definitely an interesting game. And unfortunately, I have a feeling I won't be able to actually play through the whole thing because I'm a bit of a coward. So... This is kind of a horror story. It's, uh, I guess it's close to be considered a thriller, maybe? I'm not, I'm not sure actually what the definition between a horror and a thriller is, so I probably shouldn't be throwing those terms around. Anyway, it is a pixely, pixel art based point and click adventure game. Really well written. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go through inhale right now. It's very very short I'm kind of hoping that they're not all that short But inhale is definitely fairly short So here we go enjoy So it's another good evening to you my fellow cheated hearts of New York City Good news the blizzards finally stopped but the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming, coming. Just what we need, some good old fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because who ever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, Here's Forever by Nervous, Nervous Test, Pilot. Test Pilot. It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. Alright, there's my mouse. <laughs> Apparently it was way off on the other side of the screen. Okay, so here we are. Typical point-and-click adventure game, only this is very, very... Oh, this this girl, she is weird as hell. Some of the places she puts things, it just, just way out there. So every time you hover over top of something, it'll show, to go out. you know, what it is. You can left and right sure, click. I'm going to stand around staring at it all evening. The peephole doesn't even work. <laughs> right clicking usually gives a description of the item and left click interacts with it. It's fairly standard, you know, I a left click with that. Really want to wear a coat indoor. And if I right click, coat. tells me since, that. Since, well, the night he left, I guess. My birthday. Classy guy. I do wish he'd come and pick the damn thing up, though. I'm surprised she didn't just throw it out the window, honestly. I guess that's littering. <laughs> just throw it out. <laughs> so, this is where she's very weird There's something in amongst the fronds i should get it free sometime ah got it parcel i hadn't opened yet let's see so you want to give up smoking a self-help book by i burn it kind of wish i hadn't found this now i'll just put it back where it was so yeah she likes to leave parcels in really weird places so like if we come over here, I I found I believe every parcel There's that she's got. Behind the radiator, maybe I can reach it. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's like, see. 
A DVD of Strangers on a Train? I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. So, so far, that seems normal. Let's wait until the next one. Alright. Cabinet. Well, shit. It's locked. Yes, it is. I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. Oh, dear. I'd prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. Can't interact with that. The phone is apparently a crow or something. Don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You have two new messages. First new message received today at 1.18. Yeah. Congratulations. You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once in a lifetime chance to. Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. Message deleted. Second new message received today at 6.29. PM. Hi, Alex. The nurse just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. End of final message. I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there, and I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. She oh, will be hated. It. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. That everybody has. That's called perfectly healthy paranoia. Sure. I could use a shower. We're gonna go take a shower. Naked pixel art chick. No. Just a quick time lapse, and she's wearing the same clothes. Seriously. Playing a game would be perfect about now. If only I could concentrate. Sure, yeah, I'll go to bed at seven in the evening. That'd be suitably pathetic. Indeed, indeed it would. All right, let's. Click on a few more things here and then actually if get I was on with it. Coffee or felt like reading, then maybe. But I don't, so no. I'm pretty hungry, but I'll grab dinner in a bit. Got things to do first. Yes. The snow might have stopped, but it's still utterly freezing. I'll pass, thanks. I don't know why I would want her to climb out the window, but sure. Let's go sit at the desk, because there's really nothing else we can do. While I've always been tempted to put it in the microwave, I think I'll leave it here for now. I've grown attached to the little guy. I call him Sam. She's a little weird with the microwaving. I, I, I'll be honest, I have a plastic toy I would love to microwave, but, you know. Okay, that maybe that's just normal. I've already read it. Twice, because that's how exciting my life is. Some games magazine. Every review score is 7 or above. It's very, very typical. <laughs> Pretty much every review score is 7 or above, unless it's horrid. Alright, let's check out this lamp. There's something stuck up by the light bulb. I might be able to fish it out. So, let's oh, fish it out. Got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. She had a parcel in the lamp. A 10-foot extendable ladder with stand and carry case. I'll just put it back. How the hell did you get a 10-foot extendable ladder in a parcel stuck in a lamp? I don't get it. It's crazy. And that, that kind of sets the tone of insanity for me with this. All right. I should turn the PC on. Oh, first. really? You want me to turn the PC on? What? What? You can't just use it? I should turn the PC on. A mouse. I really want a gaming one. Gavin always used to go on about the joy of basic no-frills hardware. First thing tomorrow, I'm ordering a gaming mouse. No, she's not. I assure you, 
She's not. Power on. Good idea. And five minutes later, it's uh, definitely in need of some upgrading. Nice little wallpaper and, you know, clearly, clearly based off of Windows 7. I'm not changing it. I kind of like bitter reminders. <laughs> nope, not changing it. Let me have this one childish act of rebellion. <laughs> oh dear, I want to click start. I'm not changing it. Mm, can't click start. That's unfortunate. That's I guess we'll just use the serious. keyboard. Oh look, drama as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever, I've always loved his writing. Very personable. Makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well, no time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. There's a lot of these little references of here. I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it, what did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's like the worst possible thing to do. Just write down your password when you're drunk. Next to writing down your password, don't write down your password. God damn it. Remember it. Ah, here it is, I think. All right, let's see what this post-it note right says. Walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. What? <laughs> no, really, what? While I've always been temp, I've grown a temp. Uh, <laughs> did that make sense to anyone? No. Okay. As, lo as long as everybody's familiar with it, not making any sense. Let's do this then. So this is the first little puzzle, I guess. And this is where it just kind of burnt my face off. Because I have no idea what book it was. And it could be this, this one. I should double check the title. This is where things were kind of weird for me. As shown in I went Horowitz's through... 2003 essay, This is the Wrong Book, this is the wrong book. I went through every one of these, and now I'm noticing that, you know, it's pretty obvious. I'd love to sit down and read this, but nah. But this is where my brain kind of becomes completely useless. By applying the principles of objectivism to this, I can discern it isn't the book I'm after. And yes, I am clicking on every one. Deal with it. Since I haven't read it, it's probably not this one. I can't face the shame of seeing the due date. I'm saving it for a special occasion. But I'm not going to right-click on it. I haven't thought about this book in years. I doubt it's the one. Nah, let's not get sidetracked with minor things like asthma. Asthma is not something to laugh at. It could be this one. I so, should double-check the title. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. My prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. This is where things kind of threw me, because I've I right clicked on it. I left clicked on it. And it's just like, God damn it! Which book is it? Rah, rah, rah. Spent like ten minutes, I'm like, eh, eh. Yeah. <laughs> eh, eh. Yeah. Looked all around the house, nothing. Oh, Cassell. You were a strange and troubled man. And I wonder whatever happened to you. You basically have to you have to click on it so three times. Room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. Ta-da! What's funny about it is doing it again, you, you, I'm reading it and I'm like, it's blatantly obvious. It's blatantly obvious. <laughs> it's just stupid levels of obviousness. As to, you know, that's the book. You just got to do it, but you got to click on it three times. Freaking rule of threes. Uh, I think I, I just... I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. I need the them. them for two weeks. I can't wait that long. What? 
The site says it was delivered and signed for. I don't recognize that signature, and even I would have remembered signing for it today. Looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's no. too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? Especially if it's too late to call them. Now it's storming. And this is going to be fun, making my way to the station by midnight. I'm not being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening then. I don't feel like playing a game, so maybe a DVD is in order. Might make a change. Looking outside, so I have to ask, a early in New York. who Maybe takes a train at midnight? The, so <laughs> the answer is probably lots of people, but god damn it. <laughs> That's just wrong. Alright, let's, uh... And also, if you didn't see the... During the lightning... The little guy on the stairs. Pay attention around throughout the next part of this. Yeah, sure. They're you all over the place. I'll grab some food. All about the food. Three pickled onions and a slice of bread. What a fucking fantastic dinner. Alex, all you need is a piece of cheese. Shopping from time to time, yeah. It's all you need. Piece of cheese. Let's get a piece of cheese. Hmm. It can't be locked. It doesn't even have a keyhole. Uh, it must be jammed. I think I can jimmy it open with something. If I can find something that'll fit. Alright, let's uh, get something that'll fit. This I actually got in one. Just you know like, what? we use a plastic I think this toy. this little guy's tail would fit in the gap. This idea is so stupid that it might just work. All right. Let's see if we can use our puppy on the cabinet. Here goes. It fits perfectly. Aw, oh, shit. The tail's just snapped off. Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh. It was just stuck. Right. Let's see what we have here. Photo of me and Gavin. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. God, I hate horror movies. Horror movies and horror games. They're either just bad... Or they give me nightmares. Sleep. Huh. Gone eight. Phone's ringing. <laughs> Go get the phone! God damn it! Get the phone, woman! Hello? Gavin? Oh, Rob. Hi. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? It's not Rob. Hello? Yes? This is Alex Davenport speaking. I... Thank you. I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. She's gonna die! And all these creepy things. Alright, alright, alright. We gotta, gotta, gotta quickly get her inhaler. Oh! <gasps> 
I have to say, the animations are actually pretty good. For what they're dealing with. Prepare to have your brains melted. Hey, Alex. Jesus, how bad is this storm? Oh, hey, are you alright? I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll, I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Ah, oh, God. Gavin again? Nah, nothing to do with him this time. <laughs> Sorry. It'll be alright. I, I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No, yeah. Seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. And honestly, honestly, tomorrow you're going to have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... No, it's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. Brain melted. Wait, I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob, I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. The days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call mom tomorrow, too. She got a lot of shit going on tomorrow. Not sure what she just did there. Outside, the city begins to withdraw. A siren sounds in the night, blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon. That was foreboding. And creepy. It looks like the storm didn't reach here. The snow is still falling. It's a clean, crisp night, just past midnight. The train should be here any moment. All right. I'm Distance. not walking away. I'm here now. There's no turning back. The porter Trolley. can get it when the train pulls in. It's Clock. a bit too big to carry around. <laughs> just gone midnight. Feels like I've been here forever. Probably have been, honestly. Waiting this for trains are horrible. This place is lonely and forlorn. Took an expensive cab ride to get here. We're in the middle of nowhere. The station looks like it hasn't been used in years. Probably hasn't, to be honest. Based on what I know of the game, gonna be, uh... I probably yeah, shouldn't definitely not. start playing on the tracks. Aw, oh, come on. Train tracks. They don't look very well maintained. Train tracks don't. You know, every time I look at train tracks, they always look like they're just, like, rotting and just ready to decay. Then a train goes by. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to uh, Harold Lang. One thing I've noticed about this is you don't have... 
Like, you can't click on your main character here. So, hey. Which is good and bad. Have you been waiting long? I, uh, I'm not sure. I lost track of the time. Tell me about it. I nearly slept through tonight. There's a clock over there, though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. <laughs> nice. Great. So, uh, where are you headed? A little port town. Last stop. <laughs> Me too. I'm not staying there, though. Catching the ferry to Auger, Auger Peak, Peak Island. Island. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not a common destination, is it? What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. Hmm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me, I won't laugh. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah, I won't pry any further. But, you know the funny thing? What's that? It feels that way to me, too. Creepy. Train should be here soon. I think I can see it. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see it. It's that light. It's going to be a long, boring journey. Fool that I am, I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. All I have to pour over are some historical texts. Thrilling. Hmm. I don't know. Historical texts seem actually pretty interesting sometimes. Maybe it's just because I like history. I don't know. Anyway, we have a book. And let's give them the book. Yes. I guess I should let go of it. I won't need it after tomorrow. Just one final reminder of Gavin I can do without. Hey. Hey. You can take this. I've already you read it. You dropped something! Pulp horror fiction. Yeah, sorry. No, not at all. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. You ever heard of Cassell? I can't say I have. Oh, well, he... Looks like this is us. Train's here! The way they did the scaling on it was, was quite nice, actually. Just little details. Two passengers. Well, this is my lucky day. It's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. Off you go now. Pick up the thing you dropped. <laughs> just frustrates me. Well, well. What's this then? Who's our cute little doggy? Not I know Sam. just who like this. <laughs> Settle down, you. We're nearly ready. And if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to. And we both know what'll happen then. <laughs> That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer and wait, watch, and listen like you always do. Uh. It'll be over soon. And you'll be back home before you know it. What the hell? A writer in the bag, huh? Aye, I reckon so. The hell? Oh my god! See? See? Shit's just getting real, yo. Or... Just fucked up. Let's go with fucked up. Shit's getting fucked up. And the lights go out. But seriously, he snapped a crow's neck. <laughs> like, and that's inhale. I, like, that, that's, that's the short prequel. <laughs> it's just freaking me out already. The, the last, the last couple? 
are just probably gonna destroy me. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna end this here. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are of this. If you've played it, if you haven't played it, if you've played just the free sepulture, or what. Let me know. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!